Welcome to my YouTube channel at Oksuzu. Watch the following clip carefully and you will definitely appreciate it, learn something from it and understand it. I greet you again and once again welcome to my YouTube channel. In the presented clip that you will watch, I will talk to you about Mito accused of massive, illegal, data processing by European consumer groups so, but watch the clip carefully and you will definitely understand the information, the details presented. European consumer rights groups have accused Mita, the owner of Facebook and Instagram, of carrying out a massive and illegal operation of collecting data from hundreds of millions of users in the region. The European Consumer Organization, BEUC, an umbrella body for 45 consumer groups, said eight of the groups were filing complaints with their respective national data protection authorities Thursday. The groups claim that Meta, Meta, collects an unnecessary amount of information on its users, such as data used to infer their sexual orientation, emotional state or even their susceptibility to addiction, which they are unable to freely consent to. The company's practices, the groups argue, breach parts of the European Union's signature data privacy law, the General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR. With its illegal practices, Meta fuels the surveillance-based ads system, which tracks consumers online and gathers vast amounts of personal data for the purpose of showing them adverts, the BEC said in a statement. Meta disputes the allegations. We take our regulatory obligations extremely seriously and are confident that our approach complies with the GDPR, a company spokesperson said in a statement. Since 2019, We've overhauled privacy at Meta. We're held accountable for protecting people's privacy by regulators, policymakers, and experts. We work with them to ensure that what we build follows best practices and meets high standards for data protection, the spokesperson added. Thursday's complaints will potentially expose the company, for years the subject of intense regulatory scrutiny in Europe to yet more legal action. Last May, EU regulators fined the tech giant a record-breaking 1.2 billion euros. 1.3 billion dollars for violating GDP or rules by transferring the personal data of Facebook users to servers in the United States. According to the European Data Protection Board, the fine is still the biggest ever levied under the law, which has applied in the EU since 2018. We are gravely concerned about Meta's practices, a spokesperson for the Norwegian Data Protection Authority told CNN Thursday. Data protection is a human right for all not a premium feature reserved for the wealthy. Our hope is that the complaints can spark more regulatory scrutiny on the European level, the spokesperson said, adding that Norway would pass the complaint to Irish authorities, the lead regulators for Meta in Europe. Graham Doyle, deputy commissioner at Ireland's Data Protection Commission, told CNN the authority had not yet received any of the complaints from its counterparts. We would expect these complaints to go through an initial complaint examination at the respective data protection authorities before being forwarded to the DPC for review, he said. Pay or consent. In October, EU regulators forced Meta to start asking for explicit CONSENT from its users to process their personal information for the purpose of delivering them targeted advertisements. Several days later, Meta launched a subscription service allowing its European users to pay up to €12.99, Euros and 99 cents, $14, a month to use ad-free versions of Facebook and Instagram. From Friday, it also plans to introduce additional monthly charges for each new account a user sets up as part of that offering. Meta has said the service is part of its efforts to comply with the GDPR. Subscription for no ads addresses the latest regulatory developments, guidance and judgments shared by leading European regulators and the courts over recent years, the company said in a blog post in October. But the BEUC argued Thursday that Meta's subscription service offers users an unfair and misleading choice as its data processing isn't transparent, meaning users cannot know how subscribing would change the way their information is processed. Moreover, Meta's market dominance means that users cannot easily leave its platforms without cutting themselves off from their family and friends. The organization filed a complaint with the Europe and Consumer Protection Authorities in November, arguing that this pay or consent approach was an example of an unfair and aggressive commercial practice prohibited under EU law. Meta's offer to consumers is smoke, and mirrors to cover up what is, at its core, the same old hoovering up of all kinds of sensitive information about people's lives, which it then monetizes through its invasive advertising model, Ursula Packel, Deputy Director General of the BEUC, said in a statement Thursday. Elk Suzu thanks for viewing if you liked the video don't forget, 